could Dinochiris have been the largest theropod that's ever existed? Hey everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Welcome back to another video. Now, before you rip me to shreds, you know, and that's the great thing about YouTube. If you want to rip me to shreds on this, I don't care. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section down below. You all should know me by now. That's the most important thing I value on this channel is your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section down below. Now, I'll be honest. This idea was first pitched, or at least I thought about it and gave it some consideration several months ago on the YouTuber called The Vividen. Fantastic channel. I think he's got over 60,000 subscribers. He's really making progress. He's on his way to 100,000 subscribers. Again, probably a much better YouTuber than myself. I'll be honest with you guys. And if you're watching, I greatly appreciate the support. I am trying my best here. But, you know, he put together a video of the largest theropods of all time. And at the end, he kind of really didn't get into it much, but he kind of pinpointed the fact that he thought that his money was on Dinochiris being the largest theropod that's ever existed. Now, most people, when they think of theropods, if they do even know what the word means, think of large meat-eating dinosaurs like T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Meraxes, Mapusaurus, Tyrannotitan, animals like that carnivorous meat-eating dinosaurs. We don't necessarily think about a wading duck-billed giant like Dinochiris from Mongolia 67 million years ago. So, But it was a theropod. It did walk on two giant, enormous legs. And supposedly it was an omnivore. I believe it probably would have made the bulk of its diet feeding on vegetation, but it's also believed that it would have fished and it would have used those eight-foot-long arms and those ridiculously long clawed forelimbs to swipe and claw at fish. So immediately when I hear that, I'm thinking that we can a little bit compare it to Suchomimus in the way that it would have clawed and hunted for fish in North Africa. Again, it's fascinating how an animal from North Africa, here we are with an animal from Mongolia, two animals that are separated by almost 50 million years. They're potentially using their long arms and their extremely powerful claws to rip big fish from the rivers mud flats, flood plains, and what have you not, and eat and feed that way. So again, it's believed that Dinochiris was an omnivore. But if you think about this idea of it being the biggest theropod of all time, it makes sense. You know, again, we are never going to be able to prove these things with, you know, positivity in one direction or not. I don't think you can say that it wasn't the biggest. I don't think you can say that it was. I'm only going to present my points and again, I'd really love to hear from you down in the comments section down below, even if it's completely against my stance. Love to hear from you. But think about Dinochiris for a second. You know, a big watery giant. As of right now, I believe the animal weighs about seven tons. That's our understanding of it, that this animal weighed 14,000 pounds. It was huge, probably a little bit taller than T-Rex. And, you know, this animal would have made its living in swampy, you know, big lakes, big rivers, and just living in the water and dredging up vegetation and occasionally fishing. So, you know, we think about a big animal that has no limits to how big it can get. And again, we have a limited amount of, you know, fossilized remains and already we're at seven tons. So who's to say that this animal can't in the next few years or maybe somewhere down the road bump up to 10 tons? Now we're up in the T-Rex range. And again, this is really, this is completely a hypothetical video. As of right now, there is no fossilized evidence that I'm aware of that would hint at Dinochiris being the biggest. This is just merely a YouTuber that I highly respect called The Vivid End. And it was he who kind of pitched this idea that his money is on Dinochiris being the biggest. But, you know, think about if you're an active predator and you make your living hunting prey, whether you're a pursuit predator, which we believe Tarbosaurus to be, or whether you're an, an ambush hunter, which we believe T-Rex to be, you're going to be moving for your food. Now, who's to say how much T-Rex had to move around? Some people think that it's scavenged entirely. But again, if you're a predator, you're probably moving more than just something eating plants. So you're going to have to be nimble a little bit. But who's to say that a giant like Dinochiris just couldn't reach ridiculous levels because it's simply just eating you know, the bulk of this diet is eating plant, is eating watery vegetation, dredging up that vegetation with those huge claws 
and those long arms like we saw in prehistoric planet. Now, again, this is completely hypothetical. That's why that comment section is so vital. The comment section has been healthy with each video, and it's what I value most, not likes. I would love for you to subscribe, but I will really love hearing what you have to say on this. Keeps me going, and I learn quite a bit from a lot of you. So I'm really hoping we get some good dialogue on this. But what are your thoughts on this? You know, do we think that one day down the road we may find some evidence that Dinochirus could have been, maybe not if the biggest, but right up there with some of the biggest? It's already considered like a mega theropod at seven tons. So I'm thinking that this animal has not reached its max yet. I'm thinking it can get bigger because it's feeding on vegetation. It doesn't necessarily need to be fast. Now, if it's hunting fish in the shallows, you know, it's probably going to wade out there. It's giant bulk. It's huge feet were, were meant for moving through muddy river systems and muddy terrain. And it's just probably going to stand there like a grizzly bear and it's going to be quiet. It's going to be still and then it's going to swipe out a fish. You know, it's not going to need to move around. It's going to stand there, pretend like it's part of the river, pretend like it's a giant tree. And then bam, those huge arms and the claws are going to strike to life and catch the fish that it's looking for. So that way of hunting is almost like a still stationary way of hunting. And the foraging on vegetation, this all hints at an animal that did not have to move that fast. Now, when you're that big and you have claws that big, you can probably square up against the biggest predator in its region, which is Tarbosaurus. But again, it has every reason to keep getting bigger because why not be bigger than Tarbosaurus? Why not be bigger than the things that are hunting you? As of right now, it's already bigger than Tarbosaurus. But what I'm learning about the fossilized past, and we've hinted a little bit on this channel, is that I think Tarbosaurus is going to get a little bigger too. Don't have any knowledge on that yet. But I think all these theropods, we can tack a few more tons on them. I think the same for Dinochirus. So right now we're at seven tons maybe. Who's to say where it can go? I really hope we find evidence one day that this giant grew even bigger. But nonetheless, it's a fascinating animal. Big claws, big arms. You know, it's got a hump, almost a hump sail on its back. And it's another one of those animals that proves the point that herbivores or omnivores were animals that you would not have wanted to mess with. This is not an animal that you would have gotten wanted to get near. So it's a very dangerous animal, I believe, if cornered. The claws were ridiculously long. Arms were ridiculously long. And it's just an amazing animal of late Cretaceous Mongolia some 67 million years ago. So enough from me. Really love to hear from you down in the comments section down below. What are your thoughts on a statement like Dinochirus being the largest theropod of all time? Or at least right up there with some of the other big greats that we have. Love to hear from you down in the comments section down below. And as always, appreciate all the support on this channel. Take care.